In this video, we'll talk about the design phrase on the rhino part and trying to find how can we deal with the form and trying to create a grid that could be used in Revit and also could serve for the basement as the adaptive component. So the basic logic is we have the central lines in the building and then we have the central lines to do the distor uh, distortions and scales and the rotation to have the better form of that. And you can check with our diagrams to see how can we work with that. And after that, we will try to use the kangaroo and trying to create a transile structure with the anchor point of the one in that. Like is shown here and also uh, overall like uh, a spring force on this mesh and, and to do um, the reconstruct of that. And also we're trying to have um, the customize the mesh rather than the original mesh to make that more beautiful and smooth. And later with the form we try to adjust the stiffness, the rest line, and the damping so that it could be work well. And then trying to pick, pick the geometry and set that um, to do the transformation that could be used uh, in Revit. With the mesh we have from the grasshopper and the, and the kangaroo, we will have the mesh like this. And then we try with the weaver bird to subdivide and make make that a hollow and a porous mesh. And then because we have um, the adaptive component with the six adaptive points. So here we're trying to transfer the mesh into the poly surface in Rhino as is shown here. And then the border with the outline, uh, the profile of the poly surface and then with the profile we can set um, a six point sets into Revit and in the with the help of the Honeybird we can have the adaptive component applied to the six points set with the form in the in the Rhino.